Hi, and welcome back. This is Bill, and this is another Studio One how-to video. And in this one, we're going to do a radio voice promo, and I'm going to show you how to set up the effects for a radio voice promo using only the built-in effects in Studio One. So let's get started and take a look at the original here. I'm going to solo out the original. This is the original track that I got. 89, a número um do Brasil. So that's the original voice, and then... Let me show you the result. Metropolitana. Club FM. 89. A número 1 do Brasil. So, this is a radio promo spot type of effect. Since we don't have an exciter, what we're doing is we're using a second track with some distortion on it to get that kind of effect. But first of all, let's take a look at the main part of the sound. Because there was just a little bit of background noise in the original recording, I used editing as my first step. I went through and edited each of these phrases and took off some of the extra stuff. I could probably edit that a little tighter even because I can hear that there's still a little bit of noise there. There's really no difference between this track and this track. It's just that I wanted a separate track to do my core processing and then a second track to do the distorted parallel processing. So let's just take a look at the mix and just see how this is set up. So I'll go into the mixer and I'm going to actually delete this original track just so that it's not confusing. All right, so first of all, we're going to take a look at the first track here and this track is the core part of this voiceover effect. I've muted the second voice. I've also taken off the effects from this bus. First of all, we're going to play this back with just this solo and we'll take a look at the effects processing. Metropolitana Club FM. So you can see we've got some basic compression going here with a fairly low ratio to get started. And then we follow that with a Pro EQ that's got a pretty dramatic curve here to really kind of hype this. I'm going to bypass 89, this. A um do Brasil. 89 FM. So that brings up kind of this low growl and then a little bit of sizzle on the top end. And we're going to get even more aggressive with that in the next part, which is the parallel track. So we've got on the second track, I'm going to unmute this, I've actually added some distortion using the Red Light District plugin, which works really well for this. So let's take a look at exactly what we're doing here. We can also see we've got this mixed in, just a little bit of it. So let's take a listen to this. Metropolitana 89 Club FM So we've got Red Light District here set up with a fairly aggressive drive. You can see it's on the soft tube setting. And we've also tailored the frequency response to get this right in the band. It's, it's very much in the kind of the mid-range band to really emphasize that area. And this is really going to give us an exciter effect since we don't have a, an exciter built in and we don't want to use any third-party effects. This is a way to simulate an exciter effect. And that's to distort the signal in parallel and then also band limit it in this way. 89. And then we're going to mix this back in with the original signal just a little bit. So I'm going to take it down and then mix this back in by ear with the original. Metropolitana Club FM 89. A número 1 um do Brasil. 89 FM Metropolitana And it's pretty easy to get too much of that going. Now, to continue with the way this is set up, we've got a bus channel. So we've got this and this. The two individual components of our sound are run together and summed back into this bus channel right here. And there we've got going a gate, which I'll turn all these back on. And this gate at this point is probably optional since I did the editing on there. So I'm just going to turn that gate off. I think that was something I was trying before. So I'll collapse that. And then I've got another Pro EQ just to give a little bit more of a tailoring. And if you look at that, it's got another curve that it just really overemphasizes these elements to give that kind of sizzle. Itana, 89. Caioba FM, a número um do Brasil. And then we've got the chorus effect. 
Now the chorus effect here, we've actually automated the bypass on this effect. So you'll see the bypass come in and out. You can also see that I've got it set up with the stereo width all the way to full. We've got strong depth and an LFO width, but a very low speed LFO. And then here is the time delay and a single voice to get that big wide kind of hyped FM radio kind of a sound. I've got it going in and out here because I want you to be able to hear the difference between the mono version and then the big wide stereo version. I've got an effects lane or an effects track up here that is its only function is to turn on the bypass, turn on and off the bypass. 89, a número um do Brasil. 89 FM, Metropolitana. 89. So that's the basic setup. The overall effect we're doing is we're compressing the original voice channel, as you would expect. Then we're following that with an EQ to really hype the high end and then do some tailoring on the low end to give, to take out boominess, but to still have a good deep low end. Then we're going in parallel and putting in a distorted copy of the original signal. And we're using the Red Light District plugin for that on a tube-based setting. We're also using the low and the high frequency controls here to tailor this to bring it into the mid-range and tune it to the voice that we're working with. Then we're mixing both of these in parallel back into a bus channel. And then it goes into another Pro EQ for a bit more tailoring on the EQ curve. And then it goes into a chorus to give us the effect that we can turn on and off during the voiceover promo spot. Now, I do have a bit of finalizing or mastering going as well in order to bring the volume up a little bit more. And we're doing that with the limiter on the master bus. And you'll see how that's set right here. O Brasil. Metropolitana. 89. And this limiter is set up to bring up the overall level so that this voiceover sounds really good and loud when it's mixed in with an aggressive background track of promo music. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I also have two entire series on Studio One available through Groove 3. If you check out Studio One Advanced and Studio One Explained at Groove3.com, there is hours and hours of tutorials on Studio One that you'll find there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.